from the Bungling Brothers Circus. Louis the Lion escaped? That's right. He's a killer. Hide, hide! Lock your doors, lock your windows! <laughs> Woodpecker, if you see a lion, let me know. Are they gone yet? Sit quiet and I'll check. Now's my chance to escape. Don't try that again, Woodpecker. Now hide me, understand? Okay, but no more of this than this. Okay, no more of this and this. Yes, sir. Okay, King Louie, this'll hide you.
I'm Captain Blah, the old I saw, and I keel haul my sea dog crew. I keep him on his seat and never let him sleep, and I feed him mackerel stew. So give three cheers and three cheers more for the nasty captain of the old I saw. <laughs> I'm sea dogs medley of the old I saw. I swab and scrub and I'm never through. But there's only me doing work, you see. I'm the whole ship bang up a one-man crew. Heave to, you lover. Don't stand in blubber. Here's all you have to do. Shanghai yourself a crew. Shanghai? Yes, Shanghai a crew. Row to land, grab a hand, and I'll have a crew of two. Then we'll have one sailor more. Thanks to the captain of the old ice tower, of the old ice tower. Thanks to the captain of the old ice tower, of the old ice tower. Now get ashore and Shanghai some help. Aye, aye, Captain. Blah. And don't you bother me. I'm going to take a nap. Hmm. Shanghai somebody, he says. <laughs> And now, the Woody Woodpecker Show! <laughs> have been shanghaied. Shanghaied? Yeah, shanghaied. Get to work, boy. Don't like work. Don't like work? No, don't like work. Well, that's too bad. Bad for you, but not bad for me. Bad for me? Yes, bad for you. Goodbye. I go home. <laughs> Now get to work and don't make any noise. Captain Blah is taking a nap. Wake me up, I'll kill all your hide. Aye, aye, Captain Blah. Come down, you mutinous sea dog. I'll count to three. If you're not down by three, I'll put you in irons. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't do it, boy. Keep out of the captain's cabin. Open up. Open up. I'll give you three seconds to come out. One, two.
be triple filtered for quick, quick, quick relief. Take... <laughs> Are you smoking more now? Relax and enjoy it. A 
Of course you all know this means war. <laughs> I'm so mad I could scream. <laughs> from our sponsor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now you can all sit back and enjoy the Woody Woodpecker Show! Moneybags Foundation, Abernathy speaking. Mr. Abernathy, this is Miss Moneybags. Oh, oh, good morning, Miss Moneybags. Now listen to me. I will not donate another penny until you get an emperor penguin. An emperor penguin? Well, uh, they're very dangerous. And the last eight men I sent out didn't even come back. I'm all out of explorers. Now what'll I do? Dum dee dum 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 dee dum 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 dee dee. Dum dum dee dum dum dum. Smadley, uh, come here, my good man. Yes, sir. Smadley, uh, you've been working like a dog around here. Oh, I am a dog, sir. How would you like to go south for the winter? Gosh, south for the winter. <laughs> Yes, sir. Unfasten your seatbelt, Smedley. This is where you get off. Thank you, ma'am. Aloha. Count to ten and then pull the ripcord. Will do, ma'am. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> South Pole? Why, that no good. Hold on there. Are you a penguin? Yes, maybe. Are you an emperor penguin? Yes, maybe. I guess so. I hate to trick the little fella. Uh, let's go for a walk, shall we? 
What's bugging you, Chili? A polar bear chasing you? <sighs> you mean a cat? <coughs> oh, you mean a dog? Well, don't you worry. An emperor penguin can handle any old dog. Here's what we will do. What could I have done to the dog that comes up with? Take a bow, little father. Give us your hand. Let's go now. <laughs> Mighty powerful little old penguin there. Oh, so you want a snowball fight, huh? trying to catch that little fella, huh? Well, uh, you see, I was sent here to get an emperor penguin, and I... Why didn't you say so? I'm an emperor penguin, and besides, I've always wanted to go to New York. Mr. Abernathy, here he is. Mission accomplished. Good, good! I'll phone Mrs. Moneybags. Yes, yes, that's right. I have the giant emperor penguin. That is exciting news. I'll be right over. Oh, I say, what a splendid specimen. We shall have him stuffed and mounted right here. Stuffed? Nobody gonna stuff me. <laughs> Let's go back home, Chili. Me Emperor Penguin, too, huh? Why, sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Oh, for 
crying out loud. Now get up. <laughs>
Man, we're sure building a fine igloo here, Chili. Hey, how about some more blocks, boy? No, no. No more. No more ice blocks? No, no. All gone. We better go cut some more ice, Chili. Okay, Chili. Let's load her on the sled. Keep those blocks crumbling, Chili boy. What's up, little buddy? Um, you see a cow? Um, a buffalo? A moose? Holy mackerel. Poor little fella. Frozen solid. Go make a fire, Chili. We better thaw him out. Oh! What's been going on here? Uh, well, uh, you was froze stiff and we thawed you out. Who are you? I've been young, me young, son. And I'm just the meanest Viking in the whole world. Hmm, what year this been? Well, sir, it's, uh, 1966. Jump in, Jiminy. I've been froze for 800 years. Now I think I've been hungry, you bet you. Hold on there. You can't eat that little feller, cause he's my pal. I see this sausage. <laughs> I could eat a horse. A horse. Now, I could eat a bear. Hey, just a minute. a little in the yes, Jim. Yow! Yow! Open the door! I 
don't want to see that rascal no more. Oh, my God. Help! He's back! It's you, Chili, my little buddy boy. Hodge Lodge, and the only one left is caretaker Smith. His job is to close up the lodge for the long winter ahead. Come along, big boy. You can hibernate in your cave. This happens every year, folks. Au revoir and pleasant dreams. During the long winter, the caretaker's constant companion is his transistor radio. Anybody I'll. Just a minute. Uh oh. I'm sorry, boy, but you have to go. The lodge is closed for the winter. Yeah, buddy boy, I told you before, the lodge is cold. Oh, 
my God. Let's not wake up the bear, shall we? No, no. All right? All right. All right. I better change the station. Strange. <laughs> and I don't worry, old fella. You see, that's just my little old radio making all that damn noise. <laughs> Well, sir, uh, I thought that, uh... Ow! Doggone! Hey there, boy. You come back down here with my transistor radio. I will count to five. One, two, three, four, five. No. Oh. I just knew you 
have a dog in that suitcase? <laughs> No dogs allowed in this house. And don't you ever dare bring that dog here again. Since you and me teamed up, I've had nothing but hard luck. That goes for me too, Buster. Double in spades. From now on, you go your way and I go my way. That suits me fine. Just a minute. Half of this scrub belongs to me. We divide it equal, see? <laughs> one for you, one for me. Two for you, one two for me. Three for you, one, two, three for me. Four for you, one, two, three, four for me. Five for you, one, two, three, four, five for me. There you are. Everything divided 50-50. <laughs> 
Desert Museum. So what? Oh, and look at this. A desert pack rat. So what? So what? And here's a friendly little bobcat. See? <laughs> and over here to your left, my good friend, we have a... What's this? Museum will pay $25 for one camp of fillers, Prince of Palace. A camp of fillers, uh, Prince of... Uh, what is it? I don't know, chum. Let's look it up. AXTV. Oh, here we are. A camper fellas, Principalis is a woodpecker. Oh, boy. We get $25 for capturing a, a woodpecker? Hey, I'm a woodpecker. Yeah. Now, now, friends, don't get any ideas. Hey, hey, friend, what are you doing to me? Let me out of here, Joe. You're a woodpecker, sir. I'm here to collect the 25 bucks. Let me have it. That bird's a dead duck.
In the Antarctic, there's nothing light about lighthouse keeping. Here, loyal, devoted lighthouse keepers work long hours. At lighthouse keeping, I served a term. I did my work with a hand real firm. I blew the horn and mopped the floor, and I polished up the light like never before. I polished up the light so carefully <laughs> that the head keeper's job under yours truly. Yes, life is rugged in the frosty freeze of the Antarctic. Here we see a penguin bedding down for the night. And the night is six months long. Paper spanking. You know, the lights out. <laughs> the lighthouse service frowns on this sort of thing, son. And from now on, we request the pleasure of your absence.
is mysterious Chinatown. And here to solve the case of the Maltese chicken is that internationally famous detective, Inspector Willoughby. That's me, folks. And suspected by Willoughby of being the culprit is this sneaky character named Ooh, So Fat. That's me, and he is right. I do have the Maltese chicken, but he'll never find it. Honorable sir, welcome to my humble home. Aha, a shady character. All right, you in there. Ooh, that's smart. Ah, a fortune cookie. <laughs> Good, too. Let's see what it says. Yankee, go home. You will never find the Maltese chicken. Hmm, we shall see about that. <laughs> now to cut his head off. Oh, I've lost my hat. That was close. I will give him a taste of my diabolical torture chamber telephone booth. <laughs> Just a minute. Hey, Fatso, it's for you. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me. You see a little man with black mustache? <laughs> you see a little man with black mustache? Thank you. Which way did he go? Su gao poi, e poi poi. Oh. Oh, so. Confucius say, when little detective meet fiery dragon, there'll be hot time tonight. <laughs> oh, how nice. Another fortune cookie. Let's see what it says here. Beware a blue dragon. Ooh, that's the worst kind. I shall have to watch my step. Oh, and, and, hey, uh, hello. You gave me quite a start. I say, that's a nice cheery fire. I think I'll roast some marshmallows. Hmm, delicious. Where? The Maltese chicken. Stop, chicken thief. Here, dragon. I've got some nice dragon food. <laughs> 
Be calm. I'll take care of him. Did you ever know it to fail? Whatever you're selling, Buster, I don't want any. Woodpecker, uh, may I talk to you, please? I told you I don't want any.
woodpecker, and now you are going to get it. Okay, turn it on. roads were torture for Sunday drivers. But now, today's drivers skim along on ribbons of concrete called freeways. This is a lucky horseshoe freeway. The cloverleaf and the dead end or pretzel interchange. With its off ramps, on ramps, off and on again ramps, its overpass, bypass, underpass, lateral pass, weekend pass, etc., etc., etc all clearly marked by signs. Freeway construction moves along at a rapid pace to meet the needs of growing traffic. All problems are met and quickly solved, for nothing stands in the way of motoring progress. Homer, this tree is blocking our route. I want you to go out there and remove it. Uh, yes, sir, boss. Hey, Paul Bunyan, what's going on out there? Find a new home, Woodpecker. This tree is coming down. Oh, no. I have squatter's rights. You can't do that.
Homer, for a job well done. Thank you, boss. boy, you go to the store and get us some more fish, huh? Okay. One hundred dollars for polar bear skins. Oh boy, me shoot polar bear and get lots money. Huh? huh? Uh, what's the matter? Something big. A snake. Uh, uh, letter S? Second letter. K. S. K. Escalator. No. Next syllabubble. 
sounds like. It sounds like snow. Flow. Oh, grow. Uh, big toe. Row. Row your boat. Joe. Joe blow. Schmo. Schmo. Cut off the shash. Mo. S-K Mo. Eskimo. Eskimo is gonna shoot me? Gonna shoot me? What'll I do? Hey, you see polar bear? You see polar bear? Thank <laughs> you. 
all. Very well. You come Monday morning. Goodbye. Uh, Bessie, who are you expecting Monday morning? Oh, that's the man who's coming to wash the windows. Yeah? What'll it cost? Uh, 75 cents a window. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. <laughs> That'll be sixteen fifty. What'll be sixteen fifty, Charlie? Why, to wash twenty two windows. That's what'll be sixteen fifty. So? So I'll wash the windows myself. Thum, 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 thum. Rum, thum, 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 thum. There you are, Bessie. I saved 75 cents already. That's fine, Charlie. Come and help me wash the window. Okay, Pop. Oh. <laughs> Gee, what are you doing in the pool, Pop? <coughs> Give me a hand and help me out of here. for crying out loud. Go turn on the water, Junior. Which way do you turn this darn thing? Oh, boy. It must be stuck or something. Dumb kid. Don't you know how to turn on a faucet? Right is off, left is on. Left is on. Junior, shut it off! Oh, let's see now. Uh, right is on. Uh, uh, left is off. Turn off the water! Gee whiz, Pop. You shouldn't use the skateboard in the water. Okay, Junior, tie the end of the rope to something. Let's see now. Okay, Junior. Okay, Pop. Tum tum ta da dum tum pum pum pum. Hey, what the? Okay, Junior, go forward easy. Hold it. Junior, will you drive me to the store? Okay, Mom. Hold it! We're back, Pop. Help! Junior! Oh, God! Get me out of here! Well, Mr. Fix-It, to save $16, you've broken every window in the house. All except that one up there.
Oh, that one, huh? Please. 
Well, Sawbones, <laughs> how about some service around here? Yeah, sure. But you need is lots of fresh air and no starches. Lay off starches. Hey, what's going on here? Let me down. I say, let me down. Remember, no starches. Oh, boy. What the Canuck on the noggin. Hey, what are you doing here like this? I am the great Dr. Stuhl. You're a sick doctor, doctor. I better get you to bed. You're sick, sick, sick. I'll have to take your temperature. Oh, what a fever. Hey, boss is lost. What are you doing to me? Oh, excuse me, doctor. I was looking for that woodpecker. Oh, the woodpecker you want. He is in there. Let me at him. So, there you are. <laughs> Stop! What's the matter with you? Huh? Oh, Dr. Strudel Dunker. I am the great... <laughs> Dr. Strudel Dunker, you did it again. You got maybe a skull fraction or a busted proboscis? Oh, my gift, you fair stay. Athena Schnitzel, nurse. Thank <laughs> you. 
You saw that. A woodpecker!
gotta go down there and protect my feathered friends. <laughs>
the beautiful, majestic Alps. Vacationists from all parts of the world visit here. Sometimes the temperature drops far below zero, and sometimes it takes a rugged individual to withstand the cold. can be rugged in the snow-capped Alps, and a friendly neighbor can be mighty useful. Madly! Madly! You dumb cow! Soon we'll be arriving the people! Hurry, with the skis! Okay, boss. Uh, I'm working real fast, like. See? He's a sensitive type. Gotta know how to handle him. <laughs> in French. <laughs> this job takes a lot of know-how. Gotta be on your toes all the time. Hey, well, what are you doing? There's no telling what a cold penguin will do, so I better keep my eyes wide open and be sharp and alert.
like I always say, if you can't lick them, join them. again. Down boy. When I get hungry, I just naturally think of my favorite dish, woodpecker. Mm -hmm. I got to think of a device to get that bird down here. This calls for research. Crimes and criminals I have known. Ah, the Red Riding Hood caper. <laughs> It's a natural. Dear grandson Woody, when you coming to see your poor old sick granny, I hunger <laughs> for your company. Hi. Hello. Where are you going? Well, uh, like the book says, I'm going to Granny's house. That's a coincidence. I'm going to Granny's house, too. Ah, uh, goodbye. Huh? Granny's house, too? Oh, I love woodpecker baked or fried, barbecued or frickin' side. Uh-oh, I got to do something about that tail. Uh, that's better. Who's there? It's me, your grandson, Woody Woodpecker. Uh, doggone. Come in. Greetings, Granny. Your troubles are over, because I am here. Oh, how true. How true. What a nice watermelon. Uh, is this like uh, where Granny lives? Yes, but she's busy now. Come back later. Here's some flowers I brought you, Granny. <laughs> uh, how's that again, Granny? <laughs> Hold these a minute. <laughs> I can't place the face, but the tail looks familiar. <laughs> Gee, Granny, you look awful. I'll go get a doctor. I hope it's not too late. Oh, hello there. What seems to be the trouble, Matthew? First, we see what makes the tick a tick. Oh, my goodness. Listen to this. Oh, the awful! What a pity. Now we check the blood pressure. Ah, just as I thought. Acute inflation of the head bone. Excuse me, please. Uh, is Granny still busy? That's right, Mr. Wolf. Come back later. Now, let's see. There, boss. Do something quick, Doc. I'm a sick man. Well, next, we do the trumpet test. Arriba, arriba. Now, just a cotton pick a minute, Doc. Cut out the fooling around. Huh? 
The woodpecker. Ah, here they are. One little injection, and soon you will be on your feet again. Yeah. Hey, what a wonder drug. It works every time. Now I wonder where Granny could have went. Okay, so I'm 
in a band. He's got a smart head on him. I better shrink it. Instant head shrink. Hey, little fella. I got a nice surprise for you. Sure he has. How nice of you. Oops, sorry. I got a little bitty head. Well, how'd you like a fat head, fat head? Now I'm gonna stop fooling around. Lizard, gizzard, powder dance. Now you're in a big fat trance. I am? Okay, so I'm in a trance again. Very clever, but it ain't gonna work. Okay, smart guy. I'm gonna give you the old locomotive charge. Now for a little instant shrink. I say, don't make a voodoo, boo-boo. <laughs> I made a funny. Ah, dry up. <laughs> like I said, voodoo is for the birds. carpeted Timberland Mountains, the tallest living thing on earth, surrenders to the call of the mighty Lumberjack. Timber! Lumberjacking is a very strenuous job that taxes every muscle of the body and can sometimes be a mental strain as well, causing forest fatigue spots before the eyes and the wibbly wobbles. When this happens, the unstrung tree chopper must pack his gear and hit out for a quiet place to rest. Smedley's rest home, two miles. Oh boy! When I get to the rest home, I take hot bath to fix up the nervous breakdown. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Dum -de -dum. Uh oh, a customer coming in. Come in, sir. I want a nice quiet room with no noise. Yes, sir. I got to have plenty of rest. Because I am just a bundle of sick nerves. 
Now bring the bags, and we go upstairs to the room. Here you are, sir. Nice soft bed, private bath, and a refrigerator full of goodies. Have a nice, quiet rest, sir. A little peace and quiet will fix him up just fine. I hope he's not too mad. I'll get you some food to quiet your nerves. Huh? Oh, no. It can't be. It is. Oh, boy. you are. There we are. Oh, gosh. In about another half hour, he'll be coming back down. I better get out of here. I guess he's real mad. What do you have for a reward? Oh, a glass of milk. Milk? Yes, glass of milk. Hmm, <laughs> you like milk? Yes, I like. Wait here, Chili. I'll get a glass of milk. Oh, 
Hi, dear. Guess what, Charlie? Our children have their picture in the high school paper. Listen to this. Charles Berry Jr. has been elected cheerleader, and Susie Berry will be new majorette in high school band. Isn't that just fine, Charlie? Yes, dear. I guess. Someday I'm gonna... Daddy, you wanna watch me twirl my baton? All right, sweetheart. Ow! <laughs> Daddy broke my baton! Mother! Daddy broke my baton! Well, I... 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 Why don't you learn to control your temper? Ooh, we signify. Rah, rah, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a rat trap. Yay, train. I'll just play that back. Rah, rah, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a cat trap. Yay, team! Union High, 
have a word? What is it? I quit! <laughs> <laughs> A dash of lemon, a spot of cream, and a wee bit of sugar. I'll teach you not to waste my sugar. I take one lump, one lump, one lump. Ha <laughs> ha